Hey guys, welcome to another video, Paint with Rick. Today I, I think I'll show you a different way to do uh, clouds today. I think you'll like it. It's uh, It makes it, them look more, uh, not so rounded, you know, they're like, they'll look more like they're free floating. Yeah you know all over the place so let's put some uh let's make the sky gray so the clouds will show up when uh we do them in titanium white i'm just going to get a little gray up there and then grab some titanium white and just kind of mix everything in Just like that. Just get a gray sky up there. If you got some uh, blue, you can kind of just throw some blue up in there. We'll uh, blend it in. You can see I'm not worried a little brown got in there, but we just want a dark sky. And I'll pull it down to here. <coughs> I think you'll like this way. <coughs> I'm going to do these clouds. So let's uh, grab a brush and let's kind of blend this in. Because there's, there's going to be a lot of blending on this one uh, with this technique. So you don't have to blend it too well. And... Uh, that one you can also put different values up in your sky by just kind of wiping here and there get some different values going on <clears throat> let's blend this in and we'll start uh, running our clouds here so this this technique uses a lot of blending uh, in this technique for this cloud so just grab uh, your palette knife you can use any palette knife you've got and then just put some white on it and kind of just get the white going on there uh, in uh, maybe we'll say it's coming down at an angle this way so get some white on your palette knife and just kind of any direction you want just like that and then when we blend this it it'll look cool it'll look like uh, the clouds are just going every which way you know I like that and then maybe when we're done blending this, I'll uh, I'll put some of those clouds that I usually do on there. So for this technique now, you're going to grab a brush. And what you're going to start doing is, let's see how that looks in the frame real quick. And then you'll see the difference. Looks like a mess up there, doesn't it? But now watch when we start blending this. Just first lightly hit it, very lightly, just hit all these clouds very lightly then we're going to start going in all different directions but lightly hit them and then when you go in different directions it'll start pulling them in different different directions so now you can start just blending the clouds the way you want them you can actually pull them and but just lightly do it all directions get them to fade into the sky just like that looks pretty cool huh Uh, 
different way to make clouds if you don't like those the round poofy ones you can do it this way yeah I kind of like that now what we're gonna do let's grab our knife and uh, we'll run some uh, floaters uh, on top of this just like that and lightly blend those in this is a different way to make clouds it 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 looks more like we didn't try and put them on there they look more natural and then if we want to mix it up a little let's uh let's go ahead and mix a, a traditional cloud in there that everybody kind of knows you know let's uh let's bring it from here our side and run it up to the top here and we'll mix a traditional cloud with all these other clouds just like that we'll blend that in hit your bottom and lightly hit the top there we go a different way to make clouds today let's grab some black I'm going to try and do a quick painting here because uh, I'm running out of daylight again so I'm going to do just a quick mountain here with black three peaks grab a brush shape your mountain just pull it down pull that black down this will get it ready for our uh, palette knife when we put our color up on there just going to be a quick painting blend your bottom out a little bit I'm going to try my new palette knife grab some white and pull some snow here just going to pull a little today on the top maybe it's like the snow's going away it's almost uh, springtime so just that much let's grab a uh, mix a little blue with some white for a shadow color put a little paints gray in it to dull it out and let's hit our uh, shadow side here let's pull it sideways because the mountain when it gets down here it starts running you know sideways right just pull a little shade everywhere where you have white pull a little bit of this shade color okay watch I'm going fast but it'll it'll still look good you don't want to try too hard just uh, pull your color down just like that now let's uh, pull some of this down at the bottom to make some mist in here just at the bottom of your mountain Let's blend the back, blend the back so it fades off into the distance. There's our mountain. Let's do, uh, I got some sap green here. Let's do our, uh, let's do something different. We'll grab your uh, Payne's gray and put a little white in there and kind of make a, like a light gray. A light a light gray well that we'll use gray for our distant trees today 
to give a give it a different look so tap into some light gray and run some foothills way in the back here now it's got to be darker than your mountains so or it won't show up so make sure if your your trees aren't dark enough just darken them up a little more so you got a little contrast on your going on your mountain there just like that there's some distant trees back there we'll use uh now let's get into our sap green with the that same brush just tap into some sap green and we'll make a foreground here tap in some bushes just like that Maybe pull some ground here maybe we'll see maybe these can just be big bushes here <clears throat> just want to go fast on this one and we'll put some ground out in here like this and then pull that down create some land down here grab some uh, yellow ochre lighten this up down here just fill this corner in with that yellow ochre and your green just to get some land going down here up here let's uh grab uh your yellow ochre maybe with some brown let's see what happens here just fill that in with that color we're doing a quick landscape we're just putting down our uh, undercoat right now different colors just like that okay good now grab your uh, fan brush and uh, Mix it with a little sap green and black. Make sure you're dipping it into your uh, your uh, linseed oil. And let's run a, a tree in front of these bushes here. Just tap out a, an evergreen tree. Just come down one time with that, just like that, okay? Let's, let's grab some more paint do another one uh, right next to it here start out small on top and then push it out of your brush there just like that very good I think uh, I'm gonna add a little more black to my sap green and we're gonna put one over here a nice tall one coming right down to these bushes okay and we'll see how those clouds look uh, when we're done uh, behind this uh, quick landscape. See the difference from my other videos. Different way to make clouds. You can uh, you can make them. You could use both styles in the same painting, like I did. I didn't really plan it out, so. You'll have to uh, do that yourself. But I think it looks good. We'll have to wait till I do a front shot on the uh, camera, I'm thinking, before you can see it very good. I know I'm running out of light. I'm grabbing some uh, titanium white, and I'm going to hit underneath my bushes here just to lighten it up I'm gonna lighten up this brown in the back because we want our distance to be lighter and just pull it forward and maybe we'll lighten up down here a bit to just to throw in some light okay just like that <clears throat> 
All right, that's looking good. It's like, uh, this looks like uh, maybe a sunset to me. Like the sun's already down and uh, got bushes in front of here. Run your bushes down. And I think we're gonna call this one good. So let's grab uh, for a quick painting. You guys could take your time on this and make it look better. Grab uh, your liner brush, dip it into your the linseed oil, just the tip of it, because if your your this brush gets paint all the way down it, it won't work right. And then let's run some uh, twigs in here. Okay, I think this one my brush has had it, but I put a few down here so you can see. Just run some twigs. You can run in between your trees, uh, outside on that side of your trees. Make these twigs go in different directions here. Just like that. Let's put some points on our evergreens because I like them to be pointy up there. Sometimes they have two, two uh, points on them. All right, guys, I kind of like that one. I don't know how the video came out today being dark, but let's put an eagle down here. Like he's flying through and uh, maybe we'll put uh, a few birds up in the sky to enjoy this picture. Let me give you a front shot on it. That's a quick way to make a landscape. I hope you guys liked it. Different cloud technique there, but uh, give it a try. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Paint with Rick. All right. Thanks, guys.